Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix and today we're going to be using Rex on ZOS to see how we can access the SDSF spool viewer. If you know SDSF you know that uh, you can access uh, this panel here on uh, TSO and see for instance the system activity. You can see here the system name is here. I uh, can see a little bit of CPU and paging activity here, no paging, only 2%, 10% uh, CPU utilization and, uh, and then you can of course also go and see your held output here as you can see or you can go to see output waiting to be printed uh, for instance we have the sys logs here we can cancel those when we see that the spool is filling up I check uh, like this if the spool is filling up you just need to put in a, a slash and then uh, this is a just command, so dollar d display spool, and it will tell me um, one percent utilization of the spool. So we have plenty of space, but um, it's always good practice to delete jobs that are older. So you can do, for instance, line actions like this, sp spending several items on the on the spool view, like this, and now it will just say. Put in three process action act character with the confirmation off, and now we'll delete all those items. Takes sometimes a little while. Yeah, now they're gone. And then I can also, of course, decide to print those out to a data set. Uh, so if I put in XDC here, I can say where I want this, uh, on which data set I want this copy to, or I can just say delete. Right, and um, I, you can just del delete those items that you want to delete. Um, okay, so around. And what I want to do is I want to write the program for a very common task. If you go to um, the SDSF spool viewer, there's a log fun function, and in the log function, you see the log since the machine started. So if you go top, you'll see when the machine was started. So there will be uh, 2019 day 196. And then from then on, you can see what happened on the machine uh, action by action, right? So this is the IPL of the machine. And very often you're looking to find something that's in the log file. Uh, for instance, you want to find a particular string or you're looking for something in the log file. It's tedious. You can do, of course, find um, cancel here. Let's see if you can find anything, yes. So here I cancel the OSMF job um, and some other stuff. So, but we want to do it from a Rex script because we want to be able to use this maybe from a program or some automation task. So let's uh, see how to do it. I'll switch now to accelerated um, uh, playback for you guys. Thank you. Ready for the punch. 
really for the touch.
Okay folks, back to normal playback speed. So we got this licked, uh, I had, as, you could, as you could see during the uh, video playback, I had a few issues here, just wrong. Uh, I typed a few things wrong here, I forgot an S and some just basically wrong typing. But other than that, I think the logic is sound, it works. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Uh, before we go into the line by line uh, review, let's see what the IBM documentation says, right? Um, so if we best if we start looking with something like this, then it will find it immediately. SDSF IBM. So what we have here is just really we're setting all these commands that we have here. Right, so we are able to set, as you can see, ISFS system ID is this one. So what we're doing is through this interface that we're calling, uh, we're setting up all these variables, which you can also set uh, on the panel itself. So if I go here, um, I go here, then I say sysid sw1. So now I will only look at spool from my system here, from this local system, if I'm in a sysplex, which I'm not in this case. Uh, I do have a video that I'm working on how to set up a parallel sysplex, but um, that's a little uh, longer thing. But but so yeah, all these commands here, log limit, you can set them also through, um, through these commands here. And so that's what we're really doing. And uh, you should look up all the SDSF commands. It's very extensive. Uh, we probably use only about 5% of all the stuff that SDSF can do. But uh, so let's now start looking at the code. So of course we start with a comment line and then um, we activate the interface and we start to populate the fields such as the system ID, the date, uh, the current date, uh, the current and then we go back um, as far as two days ago. And then we see uh, when we want to start and how long we want to very basically search back. And then um, I put in here a line which says, with, uh, with asks the user what their user is searching for. So it's stored in variable search item. And then we populate ISFF find with search item. And it would be the equivalent of doing a find in the log panel of SDSF. Right, and then we say how many lines we want to do on as a maximum. <clears throat> so we do here one million lines, <coughs> excuse me. And then how do we keep scrolling forward? Because what we're really doing here is talking to SDSF and the SDSF has the impression there's a user, a very fast typing user behind it, but um, it's the Rex interface. Uh, and then we scroll one line at a time and that's how we then can, because we scroll one line at a time, we can now go and build this, uh, populate the screen with uh, results. So we reach out to SDSF through this line here, and we tell them we want to go into the syslog. That's the key line here. And then we, you know, we check for any uh, return code from this execute from this command here. And so if anything comes back above four, then we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. And, and then we call a procedure here, an error reporting procedure. Um, sorry, this is on. And in, the, in this function, then we report what the problem was, if we can. Usually we can, and there's a high level and the detailed message, error message, and that's what we're outputting here on the screen. And if there is no error message, then we just, uh, we just uh, put it up on the screen. We say what the search, what the found line was with the search input, and then we we keep scrolling again and uh, until we finished. So that's what's happening here. So as you can see from this example, it's extremely simple to interface with Rex to SDSF. And if you do a lot of work on the on the terminal, and you know finding, for instance, stuff in the log file is a very recurring task or thing that people need to do and so uh, writing your own rec scripts to do these things and automate them I think is not only important but also a lot of fun and it's also extremely simple I mean we could you know as you saw I wrote this in about 10-15 minutes and 
Um, there's plenty of examples out there on the web. I will put the description in the description below this video, the source code for this uh, Rex script, so you can uh, put it on your system and, and start playing with it. Uh, if you have any other ideas of stuff that you would like to see, then uh, please drop me a comment below this video. Uh, also, any other uh, remarks that you have, uh, I'm always happy to read your comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the Moshix mainframe channel yet, now would be a good time to do it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.